Yes, I uh, am. Yes, Shok, tell me number four, beta. So we have to remember. Yes, tell me again. What do we need to do? What we need to do? You have to choose the past tense of the word better. Listening. No, listening is not the past tense. It is the continuous present tense better. Listen. Tell me again. No, listen is the present tense. Ma'am, E.D. E.D. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Now tell me number five, better. Past tense. Yes, the past tense. Which one will be the past tense? Eight. 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 Eight, very good. Tell me number six, better. Tell me number six, better. Broke. Number six is... Broke. Very good. You are correct. Tell me number seven. Now tell me number seven, Bita. Can you show it? Built it. Built it. Built it. No, it's not built it. Option C. Option C. No, better. It's not option C. Wait. What is the spelling? Tell me. B U I L T. Built. Very good. Excellent. Okay, Tuhin, can you tell me the next one, better? Mom, which number? Wait, just a second. In which class, huh? This is uh, class five, better. In, no, not in class five, but in the top, it is said that the grammar for class four and five. Yes, so it is for class five also. So, can you join? What can I do? Just a second, Bita. Shoanshu uh, and Ishani, both of you are in class four, right? Yes, ma'am. No, I'm not in class four. Then which which class are you in, Bita? Three. You are in class three, not an issue. You leave my class and join sir class in classroom one. It will start after three, four minutes better. Till that time, you can stay in my class. It's not an issue. But once sir's class starts, you have to join sir's class. Both you, Ishani and Shuanshu. Classroom one. 
Yes, classroom one. The link will be shared in the WhatsApp group. Okay. Okay. Now you tell me, Tuhin, tell me better. Mom, when W E N T. Mom, it is class four. NT. No, it is not class four. Class four will be in Sol's classroom one link better. It will start around 8.15. Okay. Okay, uh, ma'am. Rajdeep, tell me number nine. What? Ma'am. Join one. Ma'am, I leave and join one. Okay, fine. Okay, now, Shua, can you tell me number nine? Ma'am, left. Yeah. Left. L-E-S-T. Very good. Okay, now Tuhin, can you tell me the next one, number 10? Blue. Mom, blue. Very good. Excellent. It will be blue. Okay, this one you tell me, Shuo. Father. Prove. Tell me again, Shuo. Drove. Father drove. Very good. Excellent. Tuhin, can you tell me number two better? Yes, ma'am. What option D? The coach bought. Very good. Option D. The next one, Shuok, tell me better. Number three. Q B B E D. Are you BBED? Very good. Okay, Tuhin, can you tell me number four? Ma'am, number four will be right option A. Option A. Ripped. No, it's not option A, better. Ma'am, number four. The, uh, the option B. Option B. Number four. Option B. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Shua will tell me the next one. Okay. Ishani, you can tell me the next one. Wait, Shua. Ishani, tell me number five better. Okay. She has left. Okay, then sure you tell me number five. Button. Ma'am, button, button. Option, button. Option C. Option C. Very good. Excellent. Yes. Good evening, Devangshu. Ma'am, this is I class. This is class five. Yes. Okay. Now, Devangshu, tell me number six. Yes, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, there are what? He could not take the picture as he had not dashed the camera with him. He could not take the picture. Ma'am, 
the camera with him. Right, wait. Tell me number seven, beta. Tuhin, can you tell me number seven? Yes, ma'am. Option D, forgive. Forgive, but then I forgave her for the, by the end of the day. Excellent. Okay, the next one, Shuok will tell me. Shuok, tell me number eight, beta. Option C. Option C. Very good. Excellent. Tell me the next one. Uh, you tell me to him. Number nine. Tell me number nine. Okay, you tell me. To him, can you tell me number nine? Yes, ma'am. Oh. D for dog. D for dog. Very good. Oh, sure. Can you tell me number ten, Peter? Ten. Tell me again, sure. Went to. Maggie went to the party in a sneaker as she could not find the sandals. Very good. The next one, can you tell me the bang shoe? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, which one? Number. Two. Okay, the bang shoe. Read the sentence, beta. We used it to make question with this past tense. This is for regular a will as it. Regular verbs in English. Example, do they live in India? Present tense. Did you live in India? Past tense. Very good. So what happened? We used did to make question with the past tense. Instead of did, we use do for the present tense. Is it clear to everyone? Yes, ma'am. Okay, now let's move to the next one. Okay, now, Shuo, can you read it, Peter? The only difference between a question in the present tense and a question in the past tense is, uh, is the change in the axillary ex, 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 word. Sorry. What do and does uh, in present tense tense questions become read in past tense questions. Read the following examples to get better understanding. Do you need a doctor? Did, did he need a doctor? Uh, past tense. 
does does he study at night present tense did did he study at night past tense we can also use a question word who what why before the word did to ask for more information read the examples below to get a better understanding for this did he study where did he study when did he study why did he study very good excellent beta so what happens we have a difference between the past tense and the present tense and what is the difference the auxiliary verb or the helping verb so what is the difference between two of this verb excuse me ma'am yes tell me beta ma'am can i go to washroom yes go beta so what is the difference between this two verb there will be do and does in the present tense and be in the past tense so like uh, we have do you need a doctor this is in the present tense and did he need a doctor this is in the past tense again does he study at night this is the present tense and did he study at night this is the past tense we can also use a question word who what why before the word did to ask for more information read the examples below to get a better understanding of this did he study where did he study when did he study why did he study is it clear to everyone up to this to him debang shu shuo is it clear to everyone yes ma'am debang shu is it clear to you beta Debangshu, is it clear to you, Beta? Debangshu, Beta, is it clear to you? Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Great. Now the next one. Tuhin, you can read the next part, Beta. The negative sentences. Do we read this better the negative sentences? Yes, ma'am. Ah, uh, the only difference between a negative sentence in the present tense and a negative sentence in the past tense is the tense in the auxiliary verb both don't and doesn't is present tense become didn't in past tense. Read the following example to get a better understanding. You don't need a doctor. Present tense. You did not need a doctor. Past tense. He does not study at night. Present tense. He did not study at night. Past tense. Very good. Okay. So what happened? We use did not to make negative sentences. What type of negative sentences? Like in the simple past tense. This is for regular as well as irregular verbs in English. So for both regular and irregular verb, we use the same thing that is did not. They don't live in India. This is used for present tense, and they. Did not live in India. This is used as past tense.
Is it clear to everyone what is the difference between present tense and past tense? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, what the next do we have? The only difference between a negative sentence in the present tense and a negative sentence in the past tense is the change in the auxiliary verb. Both don't and does not in present tense become did not in the past tense. So, this don't and does not that we use in the present tense, this become. Yes, tell me better. Ma'am, please, can you explain again? Which part? The whole part? Ma'am, the previous one. The previous part, that is not this one, negative. Do you want me to describe negative sentence in the past tense? No, ma'am, before this, uh, uh, that you were telling this so this part you need me to explain the only difference between a question in the present is this one yes ma'am okay the only difference between a question in the present tense and the question in the past tense is the change in the auxiliary verb so whatever change we make in the auxiliary verb, that is the only difference that can be made between a present tense and a question in present tense and a question in the past tense. Up to this, is it clear, Shuang? Yes, ma'am. Then what it will happen, both do and does in present tense question becomes did in the past tense question. So, like if we say, do you need a doctor? It will be in the present tense. And like, did he need a doctor? This will be a past tense. Again, does he study at night? Did, Does he study at night? This will be in the present tense. Did he study at night? This will be in the past tense. Is it clear up to this, beta? Shuok, is it clear? Yes, you just have yes, to play between the words. Did and does. Okay. The next one is like... We can also use a question word who, what, why before the word did to ask for more information. Like here we use it. Did he study? Where did he study? When did he study? Why did he study? So did he study? It is asking whether he is studying or not. Where did he study? Is asking about the place. And when did he study? Is asking about the time. And why did the study is asking about the reason? Is it clear, sure? Yes, ma'am. Can I go to the next part, sure? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, uh, sure, can you tell me what is a negative sentence better? Ma'am, in the negative uh, sentence, we use, use words like don't, do not, didn't. Uh, these are the example of negative words. Because, uh, because in these sentences, it is used negative in a neg negative way. Very good. Excellent. Whenever we use no or not, that sentence is called a negative sentence. So we use did not further to make the negative sentence in simple past tense. And this is for regular as well as irregular verbs in English. So whichever verb we are using, we will use did not for the simple past tense. Is it clear, Bada? 
Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, what is happening? For example, they don't live in India. This is a present tense. And they did not live in India. This is a past tense. Similarly, we have the only difference between a negative sentence in the present tense and a negative sentence in the past tense is the change in the auxiliary verb. Both don't and does not in present tense become did not in the past tense. Read the following example to get a better understanding. So don't and does not will become did not in the past tense. So, you don't need a doctor. This one is in the present tense. You did not need a doctor. This one will be in the past tense. He does not study at night. This one will be again in the present tense. He did not study at night. This one will be a past tense. Is it clear to everyone in the class, including Shuo? Yes, ma'am. Okay, then let's go to the next part. Tuhin, is it clear to you, Beta? Tuhin, are you there? Tuhin, yes, ma'am. By the way, Tuhin, how is your mother doing, Beta? Yes, ma'am. How is your mother? My mother is well. Your mother is? Well. Well, okay, good. Okay, Tuhin, can you tell me this one, number one? Oh, I was. I am tired today, but yesterday I dashed even more tired. I was even more tired. Excellent. Shuo, can you tell me number two better? Which one? Ma'am, which one? Number two, better. Okay, ma'am. We dash so. We dash dash so. Uh, we dash so sad yesterday that we did not even smile. Ma'am, none of these. Ma'am, yeah, ma'am, it's not. Ma'am, we was, 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 no, was. It will was, not be was, but uh, we is a plural form. It's not a singular ma one. Ma'am, was. It will not be was. Why, ma'am? Because uh, we means more than one. If if instead of we, it was written he, then you could have used was. Ma'am, were, we were so sad yesterday that we did not even smile. Very good. Excellent. Super better. Okay. Now, can you tell me number three, Devangshu? Can you tell me number three, Devangshu? Can you tell me number three, Devangshu? Devangshu, are you there? Can you tell me number three better? What, ma'am? Can you tell me number three? Yes, ma'am. They, they are so busy today. In fact, they 
डेज इवन मोर बिजी इज डे इज वेर वर्स मैन ऑफ दिस दे आर सो बिजी इन फैक्ट डे वर्स इवन मोर बिजी यस्टरडे वेरी एक्सेलेंट Now the next answer, Shuk will tell me number four. Is it is the coldest night of the snow? It's not is, but it was the coldest night of the season last night. Very good. Okay, the next one. Can you tell me, beta? Uh, what is your name? Tuhin. Yes, Tuhin. Tell me number five. Yes, ma'am. Oh, uh, where? Number five, beta. Yes, ma'am. In Very what good. season were the twins born? Very good. In what season were the twins born? Excellent, Tuhin. Okay, number C, Devang, should tell me. Devang, should tell me better. Devang, should are you there? Tell me better. Yes, ma'am. Tell me number six, Devangshu. Thursday high dinner at nine o'clock. Huh. When this? Man, when did you eat dinner? When did you eat dinner? Is it correct to him? Mom, what did you tell? When did you eat dinner? Yes, mom. Yes, ma'am. Yes, correct. Okay, great. The next one, Shuok will tell me. Very good. The bang Shu and Tuhin. Shuok, tell me. Peter was at the bank yesterday. Where did Peter go yesterday? Uh, uh, ma'am, all of the above. Very good. Excellent. Okay, the next one, number eight. You tell me. Tuhin. Ma'am, option A. Option A. Mary baked a cake. Mary did not bake a cake. Very good, excellent. Okay. The next one you will tell me. What is your name? Debangshu. Yes, ma'am. Debangshu, tell but me. Which one? Number nine. 
Ati danced with Betty. They did not dance with Betty. Danced. Ma'am, option A. Option A. Bill did not eat breakfast. No, it's wrong, better. Ma'am, nine. And nine number A. Very good. Number nine is correct. Number ten, you tell me, better. Uh, sure. Bill ate, ate complex for for breakfast. W what did what did what did not Bill did not none of the above options. Why Bill did not? To him, is he correct, Beta? Ma'am, the answer will be. Let's go with you. Ma'am, it will be option B. Very good. Excellent, both of you. Okay, before the class ends, let me tell you all, I will share the um, this video in your WhatsApp group, please. Whatever is done in the class, do the same questions and send me the answers in WhatsApp group. Is it clear to all of you? To him, Debao, yes. and Shuog. And to him, I have shared the materials yesterday. If you can go through the Material, please go through it better. If you have yes, the time to go through it. Okay, to him, read the first line better. We use the future tense to show an action we is going to happen. We use will and shall with the main verbs. So, we use the future tense to show an action which is going to happen. So, what is future tense? Future tense means that needs to be... Happen in the future, that is tomorrow. That is called future tense. Is it clear to everyone? Okay, now what should be used to um, show that the thing will happen in the future? It is shall or will. This 